Welcome to our virtual field trip on Google Earth. We're going to start this field trip by coming over here and clicking on this link. In this Google Earth field trip, we will explore some sites in Utah. As we explore, pay attention to how the physical geography affects the human life in Utah. Each of the locations we will be visiting has affected human life in a specific way. So the first place we'll be going to is Arches National Park. This is Arches National Park. The Fiery Furnace is one of the attractions in the park that is famous for its red rock views. The formations you are hiking through are called fins. Because all the fins look similar and there are so many, it is easy to get lost. There are no maps available for this section, nor are there trails. In order to go into the Fiery Furnace, you either go along with a ranger guided tour or buy a permit for the area. So this is the spot where not every tourist gets to see, so we're going to take you on a little tour. Now click on the layer every trail. Alright, so in order to do this, you go over here to gallery, you click down. Now every trail is right here. You're going to click that one. Now look at the trail that goes through this side attraction. This is one of the trails that is led by a park ranger. Pay attention to how popular the trail is, how many pictures are in the area, enjoy the beauty, and see the different photographs. Alright, so we're going to come here and see the little icon of every trail. I'm going to click on it. And here it takes you through a little tour of um, these locations and their um, trip on the trail. Also, when you zoom in, you want to push play and it will show you their trail. And you can look at this. You can go along and see the red trail and exactly where they went and the pictures they took along the way. If you zoom in, it gives you a better view of exactly what it is that they do. Also, as you go along the trail, there's little pictures that you can click on. And you can see the views that some of the hikers took. So then if you go back to the explanation, you're going to go to a website. And on that website, you will find a story about how the national parks in Utah are essential to the economy. So it will take you to a newspaper article. Then you'll visit another website. And We're going to just show you this website. And you'll learn more about the park. So using that information, create a brochure advertising the Arches National Park. Next, we're going to go to the Kennecott Copper Mine. So, this is the Kennecott Copper Mine. It's located in Bingham, Utah. See how big it is? Click around to view the photos. How has the land changed because of mining? What kind of equipment is used in the mine? All right, so we'll zoom into Kennecott Copper Mine. Again, these little icons are photos. You can look at the different photos. These are some of the large trucks that they use at Kennecott Copper Mine. As you'll learn a little later in some of our activities, these trucks are almost two stories high. Kind of gives you an idea of how big the mine is. There's more photos that you can look at in the mine. So going back to the instructions, you'll have two activities. First, watch this video by clicking on the link. Alright, so we'll click on the link to the video. And then you'll answer these questions. What resources do we get from the mine? And what would our life be like without them? Alright, going back. Now we're going to find out how deep the mine is. Find this by using the elevation tool at the bottom right hand corner. The elevation tool is right here. So you're going to compare the elevation of one of the streets above the mine with the ground view at the bottom of the mine. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do that. We can zoom in. As you can see, there's a little road here. So we're going to take this little guy and go down to Street View. Drop him down. Now it's as if you were standing on that street. You look over here and here's the elevation. Now write that down. Now we're going to come over here to exit the ground level view. And we will now zoom out. And now we will go into the mine. Now you can go all the way down into the mine. 
can go to the very lowest point you can find. And then you can enter Street View again and look at the elevation. All right, and the next spot we're going to go to is Snowbird, Utah. This is one of the areas in which the 2002 Winter Olympics were held. Utah's terrain was ideal for the winter sports. During the Olympics, Utah became known all over the world. So as we explore Snowbird, let's discover the layer of National Geographic magazine. All right, so if the layer of National Geographic magazine is not up, you'll come click right here. And you can see the little icons for National Geographic magazine. Now, in our instructions, it says to find both picture perfect and freeze frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to click picture perfect. And then you're going to come here and click read more. You'll come to this article about snowboard and, and read more about what is going on. So you're going to use it to find characteristics about the terrain, elevation, snow, and why it's called the greatest snow on earth. Also, problems about being in the global spotlight. And then you'll do the same thing with freeze frame. Freeze frame is down here. You'll click on it and click on the link that will take you to the page. So this one, you'll look for characteristics to explain why Utah's train is ideal for the Olympics. Then you'll go to this website and watch the movie called Light the Fire Within. Right, you'll do this by clicking on this link. It should take you to the website. And Light the Fire Within is the first video in the video gallery. And as you watch it, pay attention to the physical characteristics you observe of the terrain. All right. Next, we'll go to Thistle, Utah. This was a huge landslide and flooding area that affected the geography in the town that was there. Click on the various photos surrounding the area and write down key points about what you see. So again, we're going to come down here and click on the icons. and look at the photos that you see. Now if your photos are not showing up, make sure to come over here and click photos. So after viewing the photos, and we have some panoramas that might be available, visit this website. So we'll do this by clicking on the link to the website. and It'll take you directly to the website that talks about the landslide that happened in this area that really wiped out the town and destroyed leaving only remnants. So cr read through the material and compare with the pictures you've already seen and create a PowerPoint answering these questions. How did this affect human life? How could they have been prepared? And what safety precautions should we take? So that will take us to the Wasatch Fault Line where it's one of the reasons why Utah has many earthquakes. So we're going to see this. Go and click on the layer earthquakes. All right, so in order to do this, come down here, and it's under gallery again. You're going to click on earthquakes. And you'll see these little red earthquake signs pop up. What we're going to do is you're going to click on each of these signs in this area and look at how big the earthquake is and when it occurred. So this earthquake was 4.1, and it occurred on October 18th, 1964. Now I'm going to click on one down here. Whoa! This was in October 17th of 2013. This one was a more recent one, but it looked like it was a lot smaller. It was only a one. All right, so then we're going to go to an interactive game. Because of our close proximity to the fault line, it's likely we'll have an earthquake sometime, so we need to be prepared. If you go to this interactive game, you can learn ways to be prepared and practice safety precautions. So in order to go to the interactive game, you'll click on the link. This link will take you, and you just click. Alright, and then you can read the instructions and start the game. And what they want you to do is make sure that you secure all the things in your house so that they don't fall down in an earthquake. So you've got to look through the choices and decide which one you think is best. And that is the virtual field trip. So pay attention to how the physical geography affects human life in Utah and enjoy.